<laughs> hey everybody, we're back. If you're new, thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon. This is Yaya. This is Coco over here. You can barely see her. If you're not new, thanks for coming back. Today we went to Ikea. That's why I look frazzled. But yesterday we went to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Check out the other channel to see the Marshalls video because they had some great stuff. But today is TJ Maxx and TJ Maxx had some nice stuff too. I was surprised. I found some nice new Laura Geller. I found some Kaja. I think I'm saying that right. Let me know in the comments if I am. Found some Mac. Was kind of surprised to find some Mac because I don't normally find any. Um, we found just some really nice stuff. Super excited. I'll stop rambling. I'll let you check it out and I'll catch you at the end. Okay, y'all. We have some Anastasia liquid lipsticks here. This is in the shade Bellini. We also have the shade Sunset Punch. These are going to be $6.99 for those. Very pretty colors. I like this color. This pinky peach kind of color. We also have some Kaja here. This is Moon Crystal Sparkling Eye Pigment, and this is in the shade Dark Matter. This is going to be $2.99. Okay, I wanted to check out the Kaja to see if I liked it. It is not my shade. It is actually blue, um, so that's not for me. But I did find an Urban Decay Heavy Metal here. This is in the shade Sticks and Bones. We've seen this before. This is $6.99. And then look what Mama found, some MAC very nice this is going to be $14.99 they have a few of these here we also have a lot of the same things that we've seen before the liquid lipsticks um in all those brown nude shades still here for $6.99 we do have a um, liquid glow which we've seen these before this is the shade bronze for $4.99 they have a few of those they also have the Anastasia foundation stick. This is in the shade, I cannot read it. It's a light shade, but it's $6.99. We also have some Pixie, which we have seen before. And I normally see these in um, Target also. I don't know how much they are, but this is $6.99 here. And then we have another palette. This is actually really pretty. This one is also $6.99. We have some Morphe here. It is a Morphe lip pencil in Pinkin. It's a very pretty pink shade. This is only $1.99. We have this, which I feel like I haven't seen before. This is $3.99 for TikTok lipstick. Um, we also have Physician's Formula palettes. This is very pretty, $3.99. That Milani is only $2.99 back there. We still have this, which I love, and I'm very picky with my brow products, $9.99 for that one. We have a Lipstick Queen set here. This one is $14.99. It's a little duo. That's what it looks like. We have more e.l.f. here. This is uh, an eye bright liner. This is going to be $3.99. And then we have some more over here. Endless Shade Stick Eyeshadow Stick for $3.99. We have some Cara Beauty Lip Glosses here in Teaser and Venus. These are going to be $2.99. We have some Bossy Charcoal Spot Corrector for $7.99. I really love this brand. I might grab this one. I'll put it in my buggy for now. Still have the iHeart Revolution. This is the Chocolate Custard Donut. We also have the Sugar Coated Donut. These are all $2.99. We have... Um, the cherry pie donut, and then I think this one back here was just custard. Let's see. Yep, custard filled. So we have some more Kaja. This is a concealer for $3.99, and we have another concealer for $3.99. These are lighter shades. Waffle and fortune cookie. We have some Stila lipsticks here. These are the shimmering liquid lipsticks. These are going to be $4.99. We have Beso Shimmer and a more. Looks like those are the only shades that they have right now. Oh, we have uh, some Urban Decay Wired Liner here for $4.99. This is in the shade Fuse Green Shift and Black Liner. We have some Urban Decay Lipsticks here. These are the Lip Chemistries and X-Ray for $4.99. And then we have a Vice back here. This is a purple shade in Speedball. We've seen this before, $6.99 for that one. We've got some MAC here. MAC lipsticks for $7.99. We have the Anastasia Blush Trio here in these shades. This is going to be $9.99. And then we also have the Smith & Colt Blush here in Warm Pink. This one's going to be $6.99. We have some Bossier Charcoal Strips here for $4.99. I really love this brand. We still have the Anastasia Lip Gloss Sets. These are going to be $39.99. We have a Kaja Bounce Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Trio. That's what those shades look like. This is going to be $3.99. 
We also have a pretty vulgar blush in number 15 for $7.99. We do have some Uma. I like these sticks. These are the double sticks, the double take sticks, $10.99 in Bronze Venus. We see that one all the time. This actually looks really pretty. Revolution flawless foils for $2.99. Okay, looks like we have a little Jeffree Star here. Longwear lip topper for $3.99. Don't know what shade this is in. Oh, it's with coconut oil. I don't know, but it's here if you want to check that out. I also found a little um, MAC eyeshadow. It's actually really pretty. This one's going to be $5.99. We have some Smashbox primer here. It's going to be $7.99. We have a Laura Geller Eye Lip Cheek Palette Trio Cream to Powder, $3.99. It actually looks really pretty. I might check this one out. And then we've got some more pretty vulgar up here. This is a Bronze B. 113 this is going to be 9.99 we also have some pretty vulgar the ink gel liner in 01 it's black shade this is going to be 7.99 for that one everyone say hey to me man hi okay we still have a lot of the same stila lipstick shades that we normally see we also have a lot of the same um, anastasia shades we normally see we do have um, Uma, but these are the same shades that we always see there also. We do have that Marc Jacobs that we've seen before. This is the Do Everything Travel Set for $14.99. We have some Morphe here. This is the Brontour. This is going to be $6.99 for that one. We have some NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder here. This is $14.99. We still have all of the Milk Foundations. These are $9.99, so we have the liquid ones as well for $11.99. Found another MAC Gloss here. This one is in Fashion Scoop, $5.99. I actually really like that baby shade of pink. Still have the Marc Jacobs Highliner here for $9.99. Then we do have the Smith & Colt Foundations and all the other foundations we normally see. $7.99 for the Smith & Colt. We still have the Naked and the Becca. We still got some Laura Geller here as well. I did find this MAC gloss. It's just a glittery clear shade for $5.99. This is Pleasure Principle. And then we have some Stila here, I Dare You. These are liquid eyeliners and eyeshadow set. This is going to be $12.99 for that one. And then we also have this one over here. This is the, four dim the fourth dimension. And this is going to be $19.99 for this set here. We still have the Kevin Aqua back there and the eyeshadow palette. Same prices as usual. And then we have all of these Christmas sets that we've been seeing. Um, I've seen this online and I think it costs a lot more. This is $29.99 here. This is the mini matte lipstick set. If you're into nails, I love these stickers. Don't order the cheap ones from Amazon. Just spend the extra money and get, get these. These are really good and they are $4.99. I think they're a dollar cheaper here than compared to um, Target, but they have different ones. I never see these, so I'm gonna pick up a few. All of the lashes pretty much look the same. I know we've seen these before and they come in a bunch of different styles. They have T, they have Hollywood still, um, that's Hollywood, and then they have wig, which we have seen before also. We have some Sephora lashes here, and then pretty much the same ones we see every time okay i don't see any new brushes everything pretty much looks the same other than this elf kabuki brush i don't think we've seen this before it's 3.99 for that one and it has a little lid i think it's like a travel one but otherwise i'm pretty sure we've seen all the rest of these items
Okay, so I'm seeing a few new things that I don't recognize. It's skin, hydronic acid, moisture, blah, blah, blah. $6.99 for this. This looks new to me. And then we've got some e.l.f. I feel like we haven't seen this one before. Um, workout Ready Hydration Stick. This is $2.99 for that one. We also have some Bossier here. This is the Skin Perfecting BB Cream, $9.99. We have two different shades here. And then we also have some revitalizing black charcoal hydration gel for $8.99. Kind of want to try that. Otherwise, as usual, it looks like we're kind of seeing a lot of the same stuff. I feel like this is standing out to me. This is Coachella Naturals Rose Hip Seed Oil Facial Treatment Serum, $4.99 for that. And what's this? This is standing out to me too. Make Succulent Gel. This is $7.99. We have a tightening face serum, and this is going to be $19.99 for that one. We also have back here a hydrating serum for $16.99. And then we have an intensive concentrate for, oh, then we have something for stretch marks and wrinkles. I could use this, $19.99. If you've tried this, let me know. And then we also have um, Firming Favorites here. This is gonna be $29.99. We have a little Dr. Jart set here for dry skin. This is $29.99. Oh, and then we have one for um, wrinkles under your eyes. This is $14.99 for that one. Another Dr. Jart, I think we've seen this one before. This is an antioxidant serum for $24.99. And then we see this almost every time. This is still $9.99. We've got the Philosophy Glow set here. I love Philosophy, $39.99 for this one. Okay, y'all, let me know, what did you think? I feel like I don't see a lot of MAC. I know a lot of other people do, but I never find a lot of MAC, so I was pretty happy to find a little bit of MAC um, yesterday, and I was happy to find this palette because I love Laura Geller. I feel like, she seems underrated. I feel like in um, makeup groups I'm in on Facebook, a lot of people do not love her as much as I do or love the product or the brand as much as I do. I don't know why, but I found this and it was only $3.99, so I couldn't pass this one up. Um, pretty excited. Let's check this out. I have not tried any of the stuff yet. I actually just put it in a bag and left it. Y'all, today we went to, to Ikea and I was so freaking tired. Like, I am exhausted right now. And we went to, we went to Costco too. So, like, just two places is, like, overwhelming. But, anyway, this is the palette. If I can block everyone's face out. It's a cream to matte, I think is what it's called. Uh, multitasking eye, lip, cheek palette, cream to powder um, trio, shades of mauve. $3.99, you can't pass that up, I feel like. Oh, it is nice and creamy, feels creamy. So that is what those shades look like, let's see. Oh, I'm not mad at that. Is it focused? I'm not mad at that. Oh, you can't really see that one shade, let's try that again. So of course, because I put it on my knuckle, that's why you can't really see it. I'm not mad at this, that highlighter is actually Oh, it is drying. It dries really fast, too. Oh, I like this middle shade. This middle shade was like, I was like, oh, yeah, I love this. Um, I'm not mad at this. I'm going to use this. And for three, it's $3.99, people, so I feel like you got to get it. Okay, so I did buy, I only bought one of these. I said I was going to buy a few. I only bought one. The They had different styles, but I didn't really care for the other ones. The other ones had, like, blue in them, and I'm kind of more of a basic kind of gal, you know what I'm saying? Um, but these actually are $6.99 at Target, uh, and they're only $4.99 there. I tried recently. I don't have any on because I had used some really cheap ones from Amazon, and for like $10, you get like six packs or something like that. Those are absolutely horrible. And of course, I placed two separate orders and I have a bunch of them now and they are horrible, horrible quality. These ones are the good ones. I highly, highly recommend these. I love them. Okay, and then the lipstick of the day. I have no makeup on, but I'm wearing lipstick. The lipstick is going to be a benefit lipstick. If you can focus, there we go. It's in like a pinky up. Oh, Looks like someone got into it after I put it on. It's this pinky type of shade here. Mom, and the, my ew, your hand's yucky. The um, shade is Air Kiss. Very pretty. My husband got this for me um, a long time ago, but I, I love it. I use it 
regularly, or at least I did. Oh. Okay, and then I really, I didn't get that much, and I'm surprised, but I will say in my Marshalls video, y'all, I got some stuff. I actually spent $30, $29.99 on something, and I've never spent that much on a makeup product at TJ Maxx or Marshalls ever, but I couldn't pass it up. I couldn't. You want down? Yeah. Okay. No, I want down. Oh, she doesn't want down. She doesn't want down. Mm. Okay, anyway. So I got um this. This is the little eyeshadow trio that I showed y'all. They have these at Marshalls too. Um, but this one was $3.99. I, I did not spend that much money. And I'm super proud of myself. I did buy... Mimi was with me, so I did buy a toy. But um this is in the shade 02 Orange Blossom. And I am pretty excited about this. I've seen these before in Sephora and they're significantly bigger, but that might just be the blushes. I'm not sure because I opened it in the store and then I bought it because I opened it, but also because I liked it. But I feel like the, the blushes or the ones I see in Sephora are significantly bigger than this. Um, but they have, hold on Coco, little individual Y'all, they're moving the they're moving the table around. So if we're if we're shaky, <laughs> that's why. And then the last one is this brown shade. Let's swatch. Let's swatch these really quickly. Oh, I actually am loving that formula. It feels nice when you swatch it. Here's the next one. That's the middle shade. I don't know how often I'll really grab for these, but I'm not big on those um, individual eyeshadows just because I feel like I'm not just gonna grab a bunch of individuals and I'm too lazy to actually make my own palette. That's them. Let me block my face out. Let's see. How's it look? Oh, okay, you can't even see one of them. Did I even swatch one of them? The top one you can't see. Oh, maybe I didn't even swatch it, I don't know. Okay, so that's them. I like them. Okay, blend it out a little. That's what we get. I don't know. What do y'all think? I like it. I like it. It is it's kind of powdery maybe. I feel like maybe it's a little... I feel like it's a little bit powdery. I don't know. But I got it. I like it. Y'all know I said I wasn't going to be wasting uh, like a buttload of money on stuff. Just trying stuff out. And here I am trying this out. But... I did get um, for like Sephora VIB. This was actually on sale for like $12 and it's some kind of roller glow kit and you like roll it all over your face. Um, and I still haven't even used that. Oh, let's be cautious. Let's be cautious. But I'm happy with the stuff that I got. I will for sure use these. I've been waiting. Um, I was going to do my nails last night, but I wanted to wait until I did this video so that I could show y'all that. And um, these two things, I know I'm going to use them and I'm happy that I got them and they were literally only a couple dollars. So I would have actually spent less if I didn't take Min Man with me because I wouldn't have had to buy those wrestling men that we found. Anyway, that's what we got. Make sure I will link the Marshalls video below because Marshalls, <laughs> I got some nice stuff. I'm excited about the, I'm about to film the Marshalls video now. They'll both be up at the same time, but that one, I got some nice stuff. I'm super happy because I don't normally swatch anything until I do the video. So I can't wait to dive into that $30 item that I got. Anyway, Anyway, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, click the bell. Bye. Say bye. Say bye, yeah, yeah. Bye. bye.